What's up guys? Today we've got a really cool video. I told you guys we were going to bring you something really cool while we're here in Spokane, Washington. And today we're at the Spring Tools facility and this is where they make the Spring Tools. I know you guys seen the video at SEMA where we demonstrated the products and showed you all the different stuff that it can do and how it can save you some time. And today we're back here with Eric and he's going to walk us through the facility, show us how it's made and show us all the steps and processes and that way you guys can see the original tool that started the hammerless punch and chisel era. So you guys stick around because this one is really awesome. All right guys, so this is Eric. Y'all met him back at the video we did at SEMA where he did a lot of the demos for his tools and uh, he was kind enough to let us come in today in his facility here in Spokane Valley and um, do a little quick tour. So before we get started, I want Eric to introduce himself and he can kind of talk about his company and what's going on here. Hello, uh, my name's Eric Toon, uh, uh, Spring Tools. Um, Spring Tools was incorporated in uh, 2005, um, and so we've been, uh, ever since then, since the time we started the company, uh, we've made uh, everything in-house. Um, we have a variety of tools. I think there, at that time there was like 40, 40 different tools in the line when we started out, and uh, we've grown substantially since then, but to this, to date, we still manufacture everything here in Spokane and I know uh, lately there's there's a there's just a bunch of actually people from my hometown knocking off this tool and one of them is a previous employer of, of here and uh, just let me give you a little background on that so uh, my tools were all patented uh, and so as you know uh, patents only last a certain period of time well, these particular individuals came in, knocked off our tools exact, and then what they did, instead of like a grip like this, they changed the grip to make it just a little bit different and then applied for a, like a design patent, which are absolutely worthless. And so when they say their tool is patented, it's really not. It's a, it's a worthless design patent, not worth the paper it's written on. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to clarify that, and and uh, it bothers me quite a bit that you know these people did that, and uh, I just want to show you today that uh, how we build our tools, that our tools are all built in house. Those guys, you know, who knows? We think they they build most of their stuff in China. Uh, I've looked at it; it's horrible quality. Um, you know, our ours are striking tools, and so. Uh, you know, there's no need to uh, oxidize a striking tool because the first time you hit it, you're going to wear that stuff off anyway. I mean, so. exactly right. Like you see, you know, uh, some of the Mayhew chisels and stuff are black oxided, but yeah. the striking tips is not. Like, I mean, it's right. you're right. Like, it's a totally a worthless design. But I believe all of our guys kind of understand your frustration and everybody that watches this channel is, is well, hard working guys and they understand like well that's the you thing you know you, you work real hard in your life and you start a company and you develop some technology and then and then some yo-yo knocks it off and I don't mind people doing tech you know different stuff but when you exactly knock it off and then lie about it and say oh their tools aren't heat treated or whatever they're saying it's just terrible and yeah. uh you know, uh, I would encourage you not to buy from them because you get what you pay for, and uh, they're a fly-by-night company. They don't they don't have they don't manufacture their own stuff. All they did was walk around with a suitcase and some money, and they knocked off my tools, sent it somewhere to be copied and duplicated, and then they're trying to you know sell it into legitimate accounts, which is most irritating to me. So with that said, um, we'll take you for a little walk around and let you see how. Uh, the real spring tools are made. Okay, sounds great. Let's go. Well, 
the very first process in building tools is you, you have raw stock. We only use American-made steel. We buy it usually uh, 20,000 pounds at a time, and we have it delivered in intervals. Every week we get a shipment of steel. Then we have six of these machines that you see here working 24-7, uh, and they're milling parts. And you can kind of look, see, this one is making, uh, that's one of the ones that hit tools knocked off right there, actually. Uh, so you can see this machine making those tools. And, and, and to be honest with you, there's no doubt that we're in America because uh, I'm standing here videotaping it. Yeah. I'm going to show one of them. This is, a, this is a bucket of whip. Uh, work in progress. And uh, this is my favorite thing right here. And plus, you know, uh, we own all of our own buildings and facilities here too. So uh, everything we do here, we're completely vertically integrated. Uh, our packaging, it all comes from Spokane, Washington. And we'll walk through all this, but sure. I just wanted to, sh uh, you know, get a start on this and we'll, we'll go next door for a sure. quick sec. So are all of these right here ready to, is this orders y'all are packing up and shipping today or? Yep, wasn't that, those two. Okay. And then, but the, uh, so this is a cow. cut. So, so this, all of these are different tips, I guess, right? Well, these are, these are what's going to the heat treater facility. So that's another lie these people say is we don't heat treat our products. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Uh, but this is production from the last uh, day and a half. And, uh, and so we, we go to the heat treaters twice a week, usually on, uh, this will go out this afternoon, Wednesdays and, uh, or Tuesday, uh, no, Wednesdays and Fridays. Okay. And then, uh, so this one's going out today, to Wednesday. And uh, I'll just show you next door. We just walked over into the next building. Uh, we're in three buildings and uh, in this building, as you can see over here, uh, we have another group of machines running. And uh, we have some more, this is inventory that we uh, have that goes to snap on. And uh, over here is a f our fusion, we laser mark uh, for those guys, uh, our laser marker. And then we have a, a couple of assembly desks over on this side, uh, building up tools. So can we watch one of the guys put one of them together? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, watch him put them together. This is Big Ben here. He's a, he's a great tool builder. He, don't, he can't hear you because uh, he has his headphones on. I won't want to bother him. But uh, yeah, he, he, uh, the reason he's doing that right there is uh, uh, we like, even though the machine cuts off the parts perfectly, Sometimes there can be just a little offset there, and we don't like the tool to wobble. Right. So we just uh, just touch it like that, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, we build them away. And then, oh, there's a lot of a lot of tools in here. Yeah. So you got two guys that's assembling all day long, every day. Right. Wow. They're doing them fast. Well, we ship. Too. Uh, we ship multiple thousands. Of, we ship multiple thousands of tools out every day of the week, uh, 365 days a year. You know, wow. we have somebody running over here. Guys, I know it's loud in here, but like I say, it is a you know an operational plant, and they're yeah. working, and these guys are building tools every single minute. Now these parts here, these have come back from the heat treaters, and so uh, what these are waiting for, they're all black. Uh, because they haven't been uh, sandblasted yet. Right. So uh, what we'll do is we'll load up some, kind of just show you how that works. Uh, right here, we'll put that MIP bed on the heat treatment process because you guys can see. Hey, Ben. The discoloration and it's blue. So this shows that they have been heat treated. There's no doubt about that. This is Ben. He's our uh, one of our technicians here, and uh, he's going to load up uh, some of these parts. These now these just came back from the uh, uh, the heat treater, I think, on Monday. But we haven't uh, gotten to them all yet because uh, been just so darn busy.
How many what? How many pieces do you think it is? Well, that's probably about, that's probably pretty close to a thousand. You guys make a lot of tools, man. Yeah, we do. Every single day. And so this starts the cycle. Thanks, Ben. And so those will just uh, go in that rotary uh, uh, holder in there, and it uh, sandblasts the tools to a to a nice finish. And they look like the silver ones that's in the pack when you purchase them when they're done. Yeah. And then uh, and then after that we treat them with a with a clear rust inhibitor and. Uh, and then, then they go over to uh, to go get assembled in the other building, which we can. Uh, we'll come back when this is done, so you can get a shot of what they look like coming out. All right. Okay. So over here is uh, some of the uh, packaging area, and uh, right here we put different labels on. So whoever we have several companies, we private label to, mm -hmm. um, and whatnot, and then. Uh, so we put all those together here, make kits. These are for the self-centering center punches. These, uh, these have the piston on the inside. And these are really special tools. I mean, they're really hard and good. So I'll put that in there. And it's just loose fit right now. So see all, that, all the guts can come out. Right. But what they do is this has a special key on it that we made hit it with a hammer. Usually there's a bucket there and the finished units drop in the bucket and it's swedged so that can never ever come out of there. Oh yeah. That's how, that's how that works. And so we build to order of those. Look at all these guys. That's a lot of tools in it. There's that one bin. There's no telling how many you'll fit in there. Well, and these there's guys, these guys are on break right now, but, uh, so you got a guy that assembles them over here, just like the two guys over there. Yeah, we have well, well we have six, six, six people. Holy smokes! Six, six assemblers that uh, work. And there's uh, Jason on the other side of there. He could. We'll watch you build a couple. We've seen the guys next door building some. He's fast at it. And then when the tools come back from the heat treater and after we uh, sandblast them up, this is this is where the whip goes next. And all these buckets are, all we, these- You call it whip. Work in progress. Work in progress, I got you. And all these buckets are different, uh, different things. So these is what it'll look like after it comes out of the sandblaster. Yeah, we'll go over when that cycle's finished so you can see. But yeah, they come out looking just like that. Okay. And you could just uh, kind of show all those rows. Yeah, that's a lot of them. Yeah. Just buckets and buckets and buckets full. Hundreds of buckets. Yeah. Golly. More finished product up here. Yeah, those are for demo tools up there. So after they leave, these are characters for our stamp sets. Oh yeah, yeah. So we have a, every character we have has its own bucket. So when we build the stamp sets, that's where they all go. Mm -hmm. and, so uh, after after they get through with final assembly, I guess they go over there. Then they come over to uh, yeah. They come over to. Uh, so you'll have to kind of talk because if she don't have a mic, it won't be heard. So okay. you kind of talk through the process. So right now Heather's building uh, like nail sets here. So she's uh, getting some of those to go out today. Or I don't know that they're going out today, but um, so we have two of these machines. And uh, so uh, on this part of it, uh, this is called carding. And so 
Uh, we have two people pretty much carting all the time. And they uh, put the cards in there, fill up the things, put them in, hit, hit the heat cycle. And uh, that's the end of that cycle. Holy smokes, that's fast. Yeah. And then they so go in. So that does the hanging cords yeah, like that. that. It, yeah. it thermal seals the packaging. And then they go into these boxes here. Oh, just one of these. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, so they just go into these boxes and then they get all, and then they're ready to go. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a million. <laughs> so you got all of this finished product over here ready for her to package up and... Yeah, this is, this is the stuff that's getting ready to go. You got a lot of product in here. Yeah. So that's uh, pretty much the last step before it goes out to FedEx. Well, and then the well, and then the packaging step. And so over here, uh, these are all the different ones that are going out uh, today. Uh, our UPS guy comes around three o'clock, and so uh, we're just labeling everything and getting everything just right and setting up tracking numbers and the whole thing so that it all goes out right and uh that's the spring tools from a real american company that doesn't knock people off and copy their uh intellectual <laughs> property and do junk tools yep thanks all right eric thank you very much for giving us a tour and like always guys if you like this video be sure to hit that thumbs up check right. over here for merchandise cool yeah. tools and discount codes down here yeah. Go get some spring tools. You can see the man's passionate about his business. It's an American company. You've seen it. I don't even own a passport, so that tells you I'm not anywhere but in the USA. We're standing right here in front of him. I'm shooting the video. You guys are seeing it. You see it's heat treated. It's a bunch of crap. Like always, if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Buy some spring tools. Support an American company with American workers. You guys have a great one. See ya.